Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. It's a pretty comfortable start to this work week, the mm -hmm. stay at home work week for a lot of people. Uh, and, you know, Aside from the fact that it's fire season, the weather's pretty comfortable. Yeah, it's dry. Yeah, really nice. And yeah, we would love to have some rain. Yeah. It's not seasonable, so we can't expect that to happen. It's going to be a lot of seasonal heat for early August. Unfortunately, we have a little bit more smoke in the air, which you can see taking a live look outside. The sky, not quite as blue as it should be, but we do expect some more blue sky coming. We'll have some breezes also by Wednesday and Thursday. That'll blow some of that smoke out of the way. And the firefighters are doing a fantastic job getting on top of our area fires, too. But Temperatures still seasonably hot. 97 degrees in Chico. The wind out of the south at 8 miles an hour, but the humidity is low, so that heat index makes it feel like it's only 93, even though the actual temperature is 97. Just a couple clouds over Mount Shasta. It's hot right now. 102 degrees. The wind is light, only 3 miles an hour, but the humidity is also low, so the heat index makes it feel like it's 98. In Red Bluff, just about that hot. 101 degrees right now. Breezier, 13 miles an hour out of the southeast, and also very dry air. 17% humidity. Looking the fire danger forecast. Expect more summer heat tomorrow. Temperatures similar to where are today, between 93 and 103 degrees from the foothills to the valley. Not too much wind tomorrow, but it's going to be a little bit breezier Wednesday and Thursday, and the humidity still low, just like it is right now, between 15 and 25 percent. So for the lower elevations, keeping the fire danger in the moderate category for the mountains, though, and as I was driving around Lake Almond or over the weekend, it's definitely high in the mountains, so make sure you're cautious. We do not want any more fires to begin. Right now it's 88 degrees with more smoky sky over Chester. It's 92 degrees in Quincy and in Paradise, 97 degrees in Chico, and 85 comfortable degrees in Mount Shasta. The wind, thankfully, not too strong. Most places, less than 15 to 16 miles an hour, but the humidity is low. Lots of us between 10 and 20 percent. That's not going to be improving just yet, but by Wednesday it will. We're going to have a bit of a pattern shift in our weather. We're going to have cooler weather coming our direction as well as a little bit more cloud cover. Not a great chance to see any rain shower activity for most locations. There is a slight chance for some showers over the mountains of Siskiyou County and portions of Shasta and Trinity counties move into Wednesday afternoon, but not very widespread for us. Just a slight chance for showers and storms, though. But you'll notice that the temperatures will be significantly cooler on Wednesday, at least for one day, before it gets hotter yet again. So here's your forecast for tomorrow for your pool forecast. Still looking bright and hot, a mostly sunny sky with a little bit more smoke in the air, an average high of 98 degrees for the valley. Tonight we'll have 40s and 50s in the mountains. Lows mainly in the mid to upper 60s for the foothills and the valley. Highs just about as hot tomorrow as they were today. 92 degrees for Paradise, 90 degrees for Megalia, 100 degrees for Redding, as well as in Corning, 102 degrees for Red Bluff. The next seven days in Chico, expecting more upper 90s tomorrow. Then look at Wednesday. Breezy, mostly sunny, and upper 80s for highs, but that's pretty brief. We'll be back in the mid to upper 90s this coming weekend. And for Redding, it's still going to be hot, but we'll be below average Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So enjoy that while it lasts because more hot weather is coming this coming weekend. Thanks, Jason.